Hey buddy, it's Ryan here. Uh, so this is something that's a little bit different than what I'm normally uploading. I know I do covers and lessons on music, uh, but it's something that's very relevant to people that watch my videos normally. Um, I guess you gotta ask yourself two questions. Uh, what do you normally use YouTube for? And uh, the other question you have to ask yourself is how do you normally learn your music now? Is it through sheet music or is it through YouTube? Um, sheet music's very expensive and YouTube is free. So uh, I think it's normally uh, the consensus is people who normally use YouTube to learn music now. Uh, so I've called it Explore, and without talking too much, I'm going to get right into it, speed right through it. Um, I don't want to keep you guys too long. So it's called Explore, powered by YouTube. I've designed this, I've designed the interface, uh, the branding, and everything involved in it. Uh, so you click into it, and it's much like a search engine that you use uh, anywhere, Google or Spotify even. Um, so, But you use it to learn songs. So say I want to learn an Ed Sheeran song. So I'll go in to the search bar and click for Ed Sheeran. So type in Ed Sheeran, press enter, and it brings up relevant searches uh, based on Ed Sheeran. So it comes up with all of his songs. Um, but instead, like Spotify, where it uses album and the album artist and popularity and stuff in those criteria, this uses criteria that are very much relevant in learning a song. So it shows what key the song is being played in and how difficult the song is normally to play. So we can go click around and it sorts by uh, key. So let's say uh, I really want to learn the song Drunk. It's one of my favorite songs and I see it's in G and I'm very good at playing in G. So I know G chord, D chord, C chord, stuff like that. Um, and I see it's relatively easy. I mean, I'm pretty good at guitar, so maybe I can pull this one off. So I really want to play Drunk by Ed and I go to my learn list and uh, it's much like a playlist on Spotify. It creates uh, a group of songs that you want to learn. So I can go in, drag and drop drunk, and it's in my learn list now. And I can share this with other people, I can rename it, I can organize it in any way I possibly want to. So I click drunk, and it comes up much like YouTube relevant searches uh, based on Drunk by Ed Sheeran. So, but these are all videos that are already on YouTube, already being used uh, to learn songs, but with one exception. It has attach data to it that helps you learn it even quicker. So it shows what key the song is being played at, which is a very common uh, comment in all my videos, like what key is this in or what chords are being played. So I'm using comments as inspiration for this project I've been doing. So it shows what key the song is being played at and how difficult the song was for the YouTuber to play. So it shows that song was relatively easy to play for this YouTuber, which is coincidentally me. <laughs> so if I didn't want to learn Drunk by Ed Sheeran, say I can go to my Discover tab, which shows relevant searches uh, that are related to Ed Sheeran but aren't Ed Sheeran. So it shows similar artists to Ed Sheeran, so like Lord and um, Jack Johnson and stuff like that. But if you can play Drunk, you can also play these songs. So it shows a list of songs um, that are in the same key and are relatively around the same difficulty as Drunk. So these songs, you click out, and let's click on a video page. So this video page shows, much like any other YouTube video page, uh, the, the name and uh, a little description and the views, but the one very, very important exception is that it shows what chord is being played at any given moment. So as you play the song, chords light up, to give what song, what chord uh, is being played. And you can click these chords and it shows whether it's piano, guitar, uh, whatever instrument you decide to pick in your preferences in the piece of software, it shows how to play that chord. So it's very simple. Uh, it just basically tells you step-by-step step how to play a song with a video to show you. So you can click out of this, exit. Um, but the Explore branding comes from this uh, kind of experimental uh, discovery tool I'm developing. So you click the explore tab, it comes up with a little window and you can full screen it, so let's full screen it. And this is the explore tab. So based on whatever you chose, so Ed Sheeran, it comes up with a little circle for Ed Sheeran. And what you can do is you can add in new filters to learn about other songs that are similar to it. So let's go to new filter and it does, the system is blank, like blank. So what we do is we can go to any of the, uh, the criteria in the beginning with the, the search engine, 
and we can add any of those criteria. So let's say, let's do artists like Ed Sheeran. Makes sense, and then we click go. And it pops up with artists that are like Ed Sheeran. So Lord, John Mayer, Joe Brooks, Passenger. These are the top four or five most similar artists at, and with the same popularity as Ed Sheeran. And you can, there's a bunch of preferences that you could probably like go into to kind of narrow your search, widen your search. Um, we can go add another filter. Let's do songs like Drunk. Go. And pops up with songs that are similar to Drunk. And I don't know these songs aren't necessarily similar to this song. I'm just for the sake of showing you something like this. So it shows you can change the color, you can change how it's displayed. Um, and in theory, the whole point of this is now at any point I can click on any of these and it comes up with even more options. Then you can delve kind of deeper and deeper into this kind of discovery web. Uh, so let's click on the song, see what happens. See, it clicks on the song, it goes deeper into it, and now we're looking at songs like Skinny Love and artists similar to Ed, similar to Birdie. So it shows all of these songs that are similar to that song using the filters you already chose. So that's basically it. I'm gonna click out of this.